Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. We got a line blade for you today. Uh, this is now kind of the third generation of this blade, uh, third graphic really, same ski since it first came out a few years ago. Uh, and definitely one of the most creative and progressive skis out there. Not a whole lot else uh, in any other category uh, that really compares to this ski in terms of potential, all mountain performance, uh, carving ability, freestyle acumen. There's just a really long list of things that this ski does well. Uh, and it's really impressive just kind of given the dramatic shape and profile of the thing. Uh, we are still built with an Aspen wood core, and then we get lines, gas, pedal, metal. That's really kind of the driving force between, uh, driving before, force behind uh, the power of this ski. Mm, pretty huge tip shape here. So 145, I believe. Let me just check the specs here. 154 uh, in the tip, 95 underfoot, and then 124 in the tail. So pretty dramatic side cut there. In order to get this thing up on edge, there needs to be some torsional stiffness built in. So that's where this metal laminate comes in handy. So we have a central spine running through uh, the middle of the ski and then kind of branches off uh, into the edges. So when you put that ski up on edge, this metal acts as that torsional stiffness material and allows you to create that really high edge angle that's necessary to generate the super short turn radius that this ski uh, provides. So, you know, they're calling it tight radius. We're kind of finding it feels like it's about 15 meters. Uh, but when you get this thing up and on edge, it's pretty incredible how the, the metal, the torsional stiffness combines with that fore aft and allows you to get this thing, you know, making very, very slalom style turns. Uh, you know, again, that kind of chunky looking shovel here, really interesting shape uh, to this ski for sure. Um, and 95 underfoot, you know, that's enough for, uh, you know, flotation. That tip really keeps it up and out of snow. Um, and then the tail as well, kind of that half swallow tail, half twin tip style. Again, just leading to a very, very unique uh, shape and profile of a ski for this line blade. One of the things that we found about it is that it works best when you just ditch your poles. Uh, you know, like that's where I've had the most success. We had one of our testers who has a strong race background and I told him, I said, hey, the, the timing of your poles is throwing you off. Let me hold them for you and you can ski more creatively and more free. Uh, and right when he ditched his poles, his hips started touching the snow. Uh, he just kind of it just kind of opened up a different world of creativity and you see lines athletes skiing these without poles too um, You know not saying it's necessarily required, but definitely has uh, Kind of opened my eyes to what the potential of this thing is you got to remove the timing and the rigidity from your skiing in order to make this thing Really kind of come alive and, and and do its do its own thing uh, Not terribly light, you know, we do have that Aspen wood core we have the metal, uh, this is a 176, and we're at 1,966 grams per ski. So still under 2,000, uh, but it's pretty short, so it's interesting to see that, you know, that weight kind of tick up. Do have that nice positive camber underfoot for the edge grip. Low profile, low rocker, uh, you know, you're not really expecting that type, that combination in a free ride ski. Uh, but that line's just thinking outside the box here, you know, minimal splay in this tip for sure. Uh, I've only really kind of stuffed it once into a mogul, um, but not, not terrible overall. And then this partial swallow tail, uh, partial twin tip really kind of opens it up for backward skiing, landing, any types of tricks or, you know, any, any type of creativity that you can put into the ski. Uh, that is what this thing is all about. So one of the most innovative skis out there that we've seen in a while. Just love how Line kind of thinks outside the box and does their own thing. Really allows skiers to put their own mark on it and be creative and have fun out there on the hill. Uh, but definitely check out this Line Blade. Uh, really, really great ski for a bunch of different uses and applications. Although it's very hard to peg it as just one thing in particular. So. Uh, definitely get on this thing, check it out, have fun. 
get your pulse for a run uh, and just uh, have a blast out there. That's what it's all about. Uh, check this thing out at skiessentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.